Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can build a landing page on MailerLite. Now if you do not yet have a MailerLite account, I will leave a link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and sign up to MailerLite for free. So with this you just click on sign up for free right here and then you can go through and create your MailerLite account. Either way, once we are inside of MailerLite right here, to actually create a landing page, all we are going to do is on this left hand side, you want to go down into sites. So right here we are in the sites area and then you can see we have landing pages or we have websites. Now in this tutorial, we are going to be creating a landing page. So just make sure you are on the landing pages tab and then up here, click on create site. We can then choose a name for this landing page so let's go ahead and for this landing page, I'm going to be giving away a free ebook in return for somebody's email. So let's type in marketing ebook landing page. That is what we can call this. And then of course, we need to select the landing page option. From here, we can then click on save and continue. And it is then going to ask which subscriber group would we like to add these people to? So subscriber groups are pretty much the same thing as email lists, if you have ever heard of an email list. And we essentially now choose which email list or which group would you like to add people to when they sign up through your landing page. So in this example, we can either select one of the groups we have already created. And when somebody fills in the form on my landing page, they will be added here. Or alternatively, we can add a new group and I'm going to call this GeForce North ebook list because that's the name of my company and then the ebook is what I'm giving away. So we can select this and then click on continue. And now we can go ahead and choose the template that we would like to use. MailerLite has some fantastic templates to choose from, but if you really don't like any of these, you can go up to the top and you can start from scratch or you can even build your landing page with AI where it asks you a few questions and then builds the landing page out for you. I do not really recommend either of these, like they are definitely okay to go with. However, as a beginner, you want to do as little as possible while still having a fantastic looking landing page, which is why these templates work so well, because they've been built, they are proven to convert. And if we can just go in here and change a little bit of text, change a little bit of images, then that's going to be perfect. So in this example, as I'm giving away an ebook, look at this, we have a perfect template right here in order to do this. Alternatively, if you are a personal trainer, you might want to go for this one or even this one. You get the idea. You just want to choose the one that is most similar to the final page you want to create. Once you have found it, we can click in here to choose. And this is going to take us over to the MailerLite editor. Now the MailerLite editor is very easy to use because this is what we call a drag and drop editor. So what this means is any of the text that we want to change, we just click in and we can change this. So I'm going to change this text to say, get, get my marketing secrets ebook for free. Then we can go in here and maybe we can change this to say something like limited time offer. And then also for any text that you change, if we highlight this, it's now going to open up this tab at the top where we can go in and we can like choose if this is bold. So we could deselect this and now this isn't bold. We can go back in here and put this back. We can also italicize, underline and strike through. Down here we can add links. This is going to change the text color. So limited time offer, I might change to red right there. And as you can see, this now looks fantastic. If you want to delete any elements, so if I go down here, I like to keep my landing page nice and simple. So we can go down and if you want to delete specific elements like this text, we just click in and delete. If you want to delete entire sections like this whole section right here between this green line and this green line, then we can delete the entire section. So we can go down and we can delete all of these right here. And then alternatively, you can actually add in new sections. So we can see right at the bottom, we now have no sections in between this and the footer. But if I want to add in a new section, then all I have to do is go down here to sections on this left hand side, and then I can choose the type of section. 
So if I wanted to add in a testimonial section, I can choose the one that I like from all of these templates, drag this in and drop it right there. And now this new section has been added in. So once again, I can go in here, change the text, click into these images right here. And then if I click on the image right above, we can select this image and add a new image in. But I'm just going to delete this for now. And then if you want to add any individual elements, so we have sections, which are like big sections, as you can see right here, all of this is a section, or we have elements which are inside of a section. So this is an element, this is an element, this is an element, this, including all of this, is a section. I hope that makes sense. But to add in individual elements, we can go to the element section. And then if I want to add a button, I can drag and drop the button wherever I want to on the site. And this is now going to be added in. So for this image, I can click into the image, go up and select a new image. And then if I go to upload in this top corner, I can find the image of my ebook and just drop it in right here. Then we just insert. And just like that, that image has now been replaced. We can also change the size of this image by just going down here. And you see this little square in the bottom corner. We can choose to resize the image. And then down here, we just have a little bit more text. So I'm going to say, enter your email below and I'll send it to your email address. Then we can click into this section, click on settings right here. And this is where we can add in more information if we want to. So right now, this is just asking for an email and name. So instead of this, we can go and add field right here. And if we want to collect a phone number, we would select phone. And then we have that in there. But I'm going to delete this, maybe have the name on top. So we can click on these three dots and drag the name above. And just like that, they can now enter their name, enter their email, and they can sign up. So this button right here, I'm actually going to go in and rename and say, I want a copy. Perfect. So that is essentially the way that we use this editor. Down here, we have an email section. So I'm actually going to delete this because we already asked for this. We can go down and change this text. But essentially, if this is your first time, you can come in here, play around with all of these and see what they do. So at the bottom, I might want to also add my social media. We can click on settings and then go in and add all of our social links. But as I say, if this is your first time, you might want to come in, play around with all of this, like the sections, see what you can do, add them all in, and then just click and edit these in the editor. Uh, for this top bar, I'm also going to delete this. Right here, we can click and add our logo. So right now, this is a blank logo, but I can click in and add mine. For this right here, we might just want to delete all of these apart from one. We can just say that this is the homepage. I don't want people clicking around. And just like that, we now have this built out. We can also go into style right here and we can start choosing the colors. So we can see the background color right now is white, but I can click in and change this to like red or any color that I want to. But let's set this back to white. We can then change the primary color. So maybe I want this to be a little bit more blue. So where the buttons are, this is going to be blue and things like this. So I can click in, change this to like more of a blue color to fit my brand. Perfect. We then have secondary, the heading colors. So for the titles and things like this, we can go ahead and change that. And you get the idea. We can then go down and change the typography. So the font heading, we can click in and we could change that right there. But I'm just going to go back to how this was before. So once again, just play around with these. We can change the typography of the heading. We can do the same for paragraphs. We have all the call to actions. And then once you have finished building your landing page, all we need to do is click on done editing in this top right corner. And right here, these are the final settings that we need to set up. So for example, we have a domain. So by default, the URL will be subscribepage.io slash, and then I could say GeForce North, just like that. Or alternatively, you can add your own domain. If we click in, you just connect your private domain up, click on add. I'm not going to go into it in this video because this video is specifically about how to build a landing page. So for me, I could go GeForce North. 
down here we can add a favicon. Now, what a favicon is, is, uh, okay, so it's not going to show me right here, but a favicon is, if I open something like Google right here, you see this little icon right here in the tab? This is a favicon. So I could go in and change my favicon to my logo. That looks a lot better. And then down here, we have SEO settings. Usually you want to be ranking a landing page on Google. You're just going to link it from your social media or send it out in emails. So you don't really need to worry about these unless you are trying to rank on Google. And then in here, you can add a title, keywords, all of these options. Once that has been set up, just click on save and continue right here. And then the final thing that we need to do is just go to the status and click on publish. Now my page is live and on the internet, so I can copy this and send my link out. So this is my link. When somebody clicks on this, they get taken over to my landing page. We can say Dan Smith. And then if I enter the email as dan.smith at example.com. And when we go through, this is going to take us over to the success page. So we do need to change this. We just exit out of this and we go back to this area. Then we can click into edit design on our landing page. And all we need to do is go to landing page right here to success. Then you can edit this in any way you would like. We just click in and select the image right here. So I would add my ebook. We could say your free ebook is now in your inbox. And then we can just go down and honestly, we don't even need these. We could just remove done editing. And now when people go through and enter their information, as you can see, this success page is now edited and is now customized to our brand. So that is how you can create a landing page on MailerLite. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.